Hi everyone. Um, so I tried recording this on Facebook and it didn't work, so I'm recording it here. Okay, so this video goes out to Kevin because he told me to dedicate a video to him, so this is for you. Um, this is kind of a spontaneous video, so everything is kind of going to be disheveled and disorganized, but I guarantee you it is opinions and I think some interesting stuff, or at least stuff that I find interesting and perhaps you will think about. So let us begin. College selection process, I'm assuming, is a very complicated and intricate process that the admissions offices and universities do throughout the year. What confuses me and bewilders me is that the people who get accepted are sometimes not reflective of what a college university should have in a student or wants in a student. Um, I have a lot of great friends here and I really think that colleges do bring in a lot of smart, um, talented, intel intellectual individuals, but at the same time I often question their judgment because I see people who really don't seem to want to be here even though they say they do. So it's a little bizarre and I don't really get it. Um, let me give you some examples. There are people who smoke pot every day. There are people who go around having random wild orgies all the time. There are people who drink their guts out. There are people who skip all their classes, even though their parents are paying money for them to be here. In this crazy economic craziness that's going on in our lives. Um, and there are people who just lock themselves in their rooms with the same two people and hang out for the next four years. Um, I know that sounds really close-minded, and, and you know what? I can't tell people what to do, but if you're going, I, it, I just, I don't understand their lifestyle, because if you're gonna not try and expand your horizons, if you're gonna not work on your educational career, if you're just gonna sit around prostituting yourself, or do extraneous um, recreational things such as doing drugs and overdoing drugs because I am pro-drugs but I am not pro-drugs if you're overdoing it. And smoking pot every day is overdoing it. You cannot do that. So messed up. Um, more on that later. But you like, what is the point of going to college if this is all you're going to do? Some people believe that college is for doing this stuff. And I disagree with that. That's all I have to say. I thoroughly disagree with that. If you're going to be going to college, you're here for an education, you're here for learning a specialty that you want to do and contribute to the world, and there's you can do things in moderation, you know? But when I see people on my floor who are pretty much drinking on Tuesday night, it makes me kind of upset. And it also pisses me off because I can't sleep when it's like 3 in the morning and I'm a light sleeper. So it kind of pisses me off. Sucks to be me because I'm just too ethical for my own health. Um, more on drinking and drugs. I have decided to stop doing things related to drinking and smoking pot. Um, I never really did them, but I was into experimenting and I pretty much decided over the weekend that I am going away from those things. And some people really benefit from them. Some people don't. Some people overuse them. Some people just don't go near them. And <coughs> I decided that I think that drinking narrows your perspective on things and I'm looking for something different in my life right now but if you're gonna drink and if you're gonna smoke then you have to realize you have to take it in stride and you have to take it in moderation because 
they're things that were given as gifts to us, you know, to have a good time. And if you're gonna have a good time, then you have to remember that having a good time has to be in moderation. You cannot, like, keep smoking pot and expect to get something out of it if you keep doing it, like, three times a day. Some people will argue with that, and I understand that, but I find that getting high is not really advantageous in any way, and you could be doing other forms of drugs, like, less occasionally and be getting a lot more out of it, but I'm not going to talk about that on a webcam. Um, I just find that it, it just bothers me that some people are just wasting their money buying weed and buying alcohol all the time. Like, it's whatever, that's just, that's just my opinion, again, like, I have a lot of opinions as you all know. Um, the occasional frat's fun, especially if you're single. I don't really, I'm not able to enjoy that, nor I probably would not enjoy that if I was given the opportunity. Um, but yeah, just, just stay safe, you know? Like, the RAs and, like, the college are actually pretty smart. Like, they're not smart, but, you know, they do have a point, like, and I'm all, and, and people always have to pick up the pieces, like, I know that some of you know that I was involved with a whole, co like, cop intervention when someone got drunk, and I was the only sober person, so, it's kind of hard for the sober people, it's kind of annoying for us to have to deal with all the crap that happens when people throw up everywhere and blow chunks, because it's really gross. Anyways, enough on that whole thing. Um, talking about girls. Um, girls tend to victimize themselves, but then end up being bitches to guys and leading them on, and I've seen that way too much here, and I just want to say that if girls are going to complain about guys being assholes, you need to, like, flip your perspective and realize that guys aren't the only assholes because we're all human beings and we all are selfish. Everyone makes mistakes, and everyone screws up, and girls also screw up a lot and I've seen a lot of my good guy friends get hurt over the past few days and it's really not cool so I just want every single girl out there to know that whenever you're with a guy and you might not tr you have trust issues or something you still have to realize that you're dealing with a human being so that's all on that subject um I've been talking for like eight minutes now so I'm gonna stop but one more point is that you all should just be happy because happiness is supremely overrated especially by a lot of people who choose to be depressed a lot and that makes me sad because I used to be like that until this weekend and then I had a revelation and I was like ah oh, be happy so you should be happy because life is good okay guys um I have a songwriting competition in two weeks that everyone should come to, November 20th, Friday night at around 9 p.m., Union Undergrounds. I'll be performing along with a bunch of other talented songwriters, so everyone should go. Alright, peacing out. Bye!